Okay, we are back with another episode of our Guild Wars 1 playthrough. We find ourselves in the wilds. We just had a pretty, uh... Our last episode, we had a pretty rough time in Druid's Overlook. Bit off a little bit more we can chew. Over aggroed some really tough mobs and bosses. We're gonna go ahead and try and tackle the wild mission. Um, I think we should be okay. We're gonna pick up our henchman, not our hero. Remember, this is a nostalgia playthrough. Um, we changed up our skill bar a little bit uh, at the um, advice of our fellow Guild Wars 1 content creator. Uh, if you haven't checked out his his uh, channel, it goes by the name of Guild Wars 1 in 2024. He makes some pretty crazy and awesome Guild Wars content. Current Guild Wars 1 content in 2024. It's pretty cool. A uh, little shout out for him because, yeah, he's he's making some good stuff and he's helping us out a little bit with this advice. He suggested we take Shatter Hex here for some hex removal, and then I also added this diversion. Add a little bit of AOE. Oh, not AOE, but um, a little bit of of delay to our enemies' like big skills. They're not spammable. I think diversion combined with Wastrel's Worry is going to be a pretty good combo because basically they're not able to use a skill for 41 seconds. Use a particular skill that uh, after they cast it. And then Wastrel's Worry should damage should be able to get off, which is pretty massive AoE burst damage there. Anyway, I'm going to have some fun with this. Let's see if we can do the wilds. We are only level 14. I think we're going to hit 15 during this mission. We're going to need to be a little bit careful, but I think we can pull this off. Have faith. My team. And I'm giving channeling another an extra, like another shot. I think it'll be good because there's a lot of melee scarabs that kind of rush me. And it'll put me in range. That was a nice interrupt they did on us. Dang, that's... Um, they're gonna rush me, and I'll be able to get a lot of good, a lot of good, uh, energy management from that. Oh, this one wind rider is just giving us so much trouble there. Huh. I'm gonna try and be efficient with my skill usage. I'm also using a new item. It's this low-level item that I found in Ascalon. Um... That's another reason why I'm taking channeling, because while I'm enchanted, also when I have that, it gives me 45 extra health and a little bit of armor. And that 45 health is pretty massive. For this level, like it gives, health is huge. For level 14, that's pretty good. This guy, level 18, that's not good. I remember this. Yes, I remember. Okay, so these entangling roots will put up these vines. Or roots, I guess, rather. And it blocks off. It's really risky because it's... See, our, our henchmen are separated on the opposite side. It might work in our favor sometimes because they'll be able to be protected from these moss scarabs. Hmm. Something to think about. I definitely don't want to be alone in tanking them, though. Okay, and then yeah, we need to try and keep these white mental guys alive. I don't think they'll stay alive much very long though. They're kind of rushing into things. A oh, diversion costs three seconds casting time. That's kind of rough. All right, they're staying alive. Been two extra little fifteen guys. That's pretty good. I'm gonna stay with them. We need, actually need to go down that way. Over there. My left. Get the bonus, but I wanna I wanna get as much use of these white mantle guys as possible. Ooh, I got a nice interrupt. Sometimes you can anticipate when the AI is gonna use a skill. 
Oh, I just double aggroed by accident. Okay, we're, we gotta leave them alone. We're gonna take out this mob to the left. This could be really, really bad. We had to let the white mantle guys die there. Over aggroed by accident. Luckily, we bursted down our up here. Wow, he's still alive. Nope, <laughs> spoke too soon. <laughs> Luckily, they tanked that second mob there. I think if we had aggroed all of them onto us, both sides, we would have been we would have wiped right there. All right, sorry, white mantle guys. You um performed your duty admirably. We're gonna head off this way. Pick up a bonus, bonus objective. Careful here. Oh, one, I was hoping I could back up at the last second. Oh, I casted it here, huh? Oh, they're kind of stuck there. Let's take out the roots first. Alright, we're good. I keep trying to anticipate that cry of frustration interrupt. But most of those necromancer spells are pretty fast. They're almost instant. Hard to interrupt them. Could definitely interrupt this monk. All right, we got him. All right, heading the right way. Stupid plant enemies just pop up from the ground. Remind me of Zerglings or something from Starcraft. Little scarabs do. Be nice to hit level five early on in this mission. That or level fifteen rather. Getting that extra extra level will help us out a lot. We are slightly above level against these the average mob here. It looks like, but. Our henchmen are just really low. You know, when prophecies came out, they they gave you henchmen as a way to kind of fill out parties. They were never really meant to be used solo like this. That's why they're slightly under level and weaker than the average mob in the areas, because you're supposed to be using them as just like a last a last uh, resort You're supposed to be using real players but of course in 2024 not so many players can rely on be online at any given time for these missions but we're kind of playing hard mode here going all right must say this channeling spell is working out pretty nice if you see those purple like plus ones that means i'm getting energy every time i'm casting a spell is the right way? I think so. Uh, we actually... We got 73 damage from Wastrel Worry. Wastrel's Worry is really nice. I don't know why I'm leading with diversion, but yeah, I think against these scarabs, you just need to burst them down as fast as possible. I shouldn't be wasting time with that. Centaur scout. It's, I think we need to listen. We need to eavesdrop on their conversation. I just remembered this. Is that right? 
Wow, it just suddenly popped in my head. Don't attack him yet. They speak English really well. <laughs> Orion, why are we just standing here? I think Tom's character, the uh, uh, little Tom, his face, character, expression is pretty cool. The mustache, epic. I think the longer we listen to this, we will get a bonus objective that pops up. Anytime now. Take this. There we go. Now we got the bonus objective. We can fight them. He dropped that vine seed, which is used to make a bridge that we got to carry with us through the whole mission now. Luckily, we can drop it. We are allowed to drop it. We will be able to pick it back up again. Do I need to backtrack all the way, or can I just cut through here? They did a good job, I think, in Guild Wars 2, recreating the kind of maze of the jungle that they did here. Maguma. Because it's pretty mazy here as well. Oh. Uh, guess let's backtrack where diverged onto this path. Go this way? I don't we need to get onto that path. Just get on our mount. Can we aggro this guy from up here? Maybe I can hit him with my arrow. Yes, I can. Should have known that would happen. Let's check out up here, actually. Worst that happened was we'll get some extra experience. I think this seed... Oh, no. I thought it traps him for a second. Oh, it does. It, en it entangled him for it. Is that right? I think it does do a little bit of PC. Let's that out again. Ah, uh, it didn't work that time. Might be misremembering it. Thought if you drop it, it entangles him for a split second. I hope we can just come up this way. You know how I feel about backtracking. Bridge above. And yeah, that looks like a bridge up there. I think that's where we're supposed to be going. We're gonna do a little exploring, I guess. Yeah, and worst, is, worst that can happen is we just hit our level up. We want. Can't really see what what's happening, but looks like the vine does something. Hmm. Need to look that up or something. I think we're going the right way. These entangling roots are usually the place to go.
keep trying to anticipate the uh yeah, cry of frustration. I like this skill bar actually. It's very, uh, it's got a lot of spammable skills. I got a lot of skills off cooldown, and with channeling, I can maintain my energy and just constantly cast stuff. Look at that, five energy per cast. You almost have infinite mana, actually. Energy, rather. The main reason for keeping channeling on is just gives us get 45 health and armor. Or 6 armor. 5 armor. Doing pretty well. Much smoother than I thought, honestly. After that last floor Valeria went, I'm very liking this. I haven't used Shatter Hex. I'm gonna. I, I should rewatch this and see how many opportunities I had to cast Shatter Hex, and I just failed to do it. But yeah, not a lot of enemies are casting Hex Hex spells actually. I thought we were gonna fight a lot more of those like. Squid, fl flying squid looking enemies. But not so much. Come on. Oh, okay, so we went in a circle. So another way you could go to get the bonus is to go north and actually head down here. But we need to go up the middle because that's where that I that bridge air thing was. You know what? That's the way that we just went is better than backtracking because at least we got to fight enemies on the way. I don't mind that at all. We are gonna be very close to level fifteen. We'll definitely hit level fifteen off the bonus expecting that a hey, little warthog I always thought the warthog is the cool pet if I were a ranger I would definitely be rocking a warthog right now is AoE going Doing some hardcore tanking right now. That healing breeze is working overtime. Get off a chaos storm, shall we? Okay. Those these scarabs don't really have a lot of skills. So wasteful worry almost always procs. Armor versus skeleton. Shot storm singer. This is the guy we were fighting earlier. I'm gonna keep my eye open for any hexes. Oh, there's a hex. Better hex. 90 damage. Look at that. That's a huge. 90 damage is massive, actually. Let's take out these ads first. Gotta protect, um, certainly gotta protect our monk. It looks like whenever division, diversion, whenever I cast diversion, it almost looks like they avoid ca using a spell because they don't want to proc it. So it almost guarantees diversion and then Wacial's Worry together. It almost guarantees Wacial Worry is going to. I 
lost my sound. What's going on with my sound? There it goes. Whew. Little hiccup with the speakers there. Or microphone. Glad that cleared up. Oh, I forgot. I'm holding this vine, so I wasn't getting any extra health. I thought that was what was going on. I need to remember to drop it for battles. Going to the north. Cutscene. I'm gonna try and get a screenshot. Something cool happens. Probably looked weird in the video. I'm not gonna do that again. Got a little screenshot though. Right, we gotta be careful. These centaurs come in fast. We need to be... Yeah, I'm getting bursted down. Whenever you're getting ganged up like that by uh, melee, casting an AoE like Chaos Storm will make them scatter. Still not many hex casters. We're gonna go, we're not gonna follow the road. That This road here is the main mission, but we're gonna go north, because we're doing this bonus. Oh, I remember this. This is a cool enchantment, or a spirit. Each creature has plus 117 max health. For each enchantment. So if I cast this, look at that, almost 500 health. It's a pretty cool thing. Oh, they are smart. So they put a bunch of traps on their spirit. They booby trapped the spirit. That would be a pretty cool build actually is have a ranger cast it keeping symbiosis spirit up or put it on a ritualist ranger or something keeping that spirit up and then have a bunch of party-wide uh enchantments you could get the whole party up to like thousand hp I'm not sure if it would be effective or not but it would be kind of cool uh are we over aggroing are we dead? I'm dead. That or this hex on. Oof. Health up. Off. Oh. We got that protector and avenger. Need to move back a little bit. Try and... Try and... Okay. Oof. I'm glad we could de-aggro there. Let's just res Stefan really quick. Yeah, that was two mobs together. Okay, let's do this better. So, Avenger is a... Elementalist. Luckily, they stood in our AoE there. Oh, I forgot that the self heal, not a. I was trying to use Ether Feast on my monk to heal her. That was stupid of me. 
These are huge mobs, aren't they? Need to go a little bit up here. Oh, these are just trolls. Hopefully my my henchmen don't have too much death penalty. We need to take out these trolls before yeah, it's too late. Don't die, Elise. Please shatter that hex. Oh, she died. Well, this is going to be rough. I don't know if my teammate has any more res signets. Okay, she does. Protector. I need to use some interrupts. is getting killed. Save her. Oh, we just aggroed again. This is rough. Okay, they don't have any more monks. Man, I think having... Oh, uh, we lost. Okay, we kind of caught back up. We actually failed that last attempt. A little while up there. And I realized we are just way too under leveled to do the bonus. So we're gonna head up this way. Up this way. And do just a mission. Yeah, we're level 14 and 12, and all of these hint all these centaurs are all level 16, and the mobs are just huge. We're gonna have to come back for this bonus for sure. So if you're hoping for a double mission and bonus combo, um, we're not gonna do it. But anyway, yeah, it was a, it was rough. We failed. Got double aggroed, two boss or two mobs, and just severely under leveled here, especially with our henchmen. So we had to run all the way back. I went ahead and did the bonus area down here again, the objective, and then now that I'm back here, I'm just like, no, I don't want to have to do all that again. We're just going to keep going from here. Got to be careful, though. So the enchanters are the enchanters, mesmers, hunters are ranger. This symbiosis spirit, though, is nice. I'd rather not lose it. But if I cast Chaos Storm, it's gonna get taken out, probably. Gonna be extra careful. Whenever I see mobs moving around like this, I need to be very mindful of their route. Warlocks or necromancer warriors are warriors. It's the protectors that I really need to be careful of. Because those protectors cast a lot of spells that just make their teammates not die. 
And I try to get... I'm gonna try and keep Wastral Worry on every enemy. Because when they group up, and if I can get double Wastral Worry procs... On two different enemies... That's a huge AoE burst. The right way... I mean, even though we're just doing the, um... Even though we're just doing the mission, it's gonna be tough, actually. We might not even complete this. Hope we do. Luckily, we're gonna hit level 15 off of this. But even if we're level 15, our teammates are still just level 12. Not an easy mission at all with just henchmen. Maybe if we're level 20, we can kind of carry a group of henchmen through here, but... With max armor, too, if we had that, that would be really nice. We're gonna hope for the best. Try and get a video out of this. What is that way? Grand Gretch Trundle. The boss that way. Try and avoid them. Level 18 mobs are not my idea of fun at this moment. I don't know if this is the right way though. It is. Yeah, this looks right. I mean, they made this well-paved road for us. This is not the right road. That would be kind of weird game design. Well, let's batter these hexes on our frontliners. Important to see... Whenever you got something like Shatter ha Hex. Yeah, I want to get melee range. Yeah, so I can get that huge burst. 90 damage. Huge. The protector? No protector. Just target the warrior. That's chasing down our monk. Oh, I Shatter Hexed on my... Stupid little Tom Henchman who's just running back and forth like a dummy. Come on, Tom. Get in there. Just being useless, man. Well, now I'm being used. Use the waypoint. Parasitic Bond, though, is a nice cover because if I shatter that Hex, Parasitic Bond Hex, it actually heals them. Activates the heal. Is this right? Yeah. And we gotta be careful in here. Try and do some pulling. Yeah, it pulls all of them. I was afraid of that. Nice AoE damage. That's what we're looking for. Ooh, a key. Inventory full. Drop this useless stuff. I haven't seen any chests though, actually.
the right way. Oh, I'm really hoping we complete this mission. Even though we complete it, though, every mission is going to be tough, though, from here on out, because our henchmen are still going to be kind of low level throughout the whole game. Take the low road. Hmm, couldn't get that off. Nice. Love to see those big numbers. The cool thing about the Guild Wars 1 design is it's a little slower pace, but you get a lot of satisfaction when you, you can pull off a build that does lots of numbers. The numbers and alerts and all the signs and stuff in Guild Wars 2, it's just so fast paced, it gets a little overwhelming. In my opinion, of course. I like to see these slow battles with huge numbers popping up. Jungle Troll is using a ranger skill. Maybe he's a uh, mixed ranger warrior or something. Rook, plug a lug. I remember this boss actually. Very, very iconic name. Plug a lug. Oh, great spiders. I'm gonna deal with poison now here. Luckily, we got some healing. Kill. What's casting hexes? Got that plus two morale boost now. Real good. Yes, level 15. Get that uh, inspiration going. And get some more health. Come on, Alicia, don't delay there. Don't die. Poison is just brutal. With only having one healer. Is these uh, damage over time conditions like the hexes, the con the poison, really tough for her to keep up. I remember maining monk one time. It was really satisfying to keep your teammates alive. That's one of my, that's one of the memories of Guild Wars that you just can't really get back. Is playing a monk and healing your team. Saving the day. People were so grateful to have good healers back then. But at the same time, it created the, uh, the dreaded LFG healer. <laughs> that was one of the main reasons I switched to healer as a main in the, in the old days is I was just so sick of waiting for teams. There's like, okay, I'm just gonna play healer then. And it's so satisfying. It was so satisfying playing healer and just never waiting to get in a mission. Immediately, everyone would spam you with requests to join. Really good. Oh, too early with that interrupt. We're almost to the end here. Just gotta loop down here a little bit. That was a boss. Don't want to over aggro as we're at the end here. These bot, these missions were really designed well to where 
they give you the end in sight, then they m let you just make a huge mistake, get overconfident, or get in a hurry. Like I'm kind of doing now, I'm over aggroing for sure. I'm gonna pull this one through. Need to get some interrupts going. There we go. Guardian, that was a cool spell. <coughs> protection monk was the way to go. And now that these enemies are using protection healing or protection monk supports, it's just really hard to get through any damage. Speaking of monk, we got a item here. The way to go. Doesn't look right. It looks like we're heading too far south. Yeah, I guess this is right. Oh. Not sure, actually. We're on the road. Oh, these map designs are really confusing. Oh, I think we finished it. Is this it? I think so. I'm gonna take a screenshot here. That should be fun. Just took a quick screenshot. Oh no, please no. So the shining blade say, took the chosen and then they got captured by spiders. Oh. But he's actually trying to save them by fighting the spider. He's so brave. chase us through the jungle later but if you have even a shred of decency in your heart i beseech you help us save the chosen interesting just to save the chosen the Aedra. gonna help us Ah, oh, this was tough. I wish we could do more bonuses. I really do, but... Wow, this one was a really tough mission. Might be even... I still... I might even be speaking too soon. I think we're okay. What is... He's a level 15? Oh... Uh, Oh, another key. Might be worth just selling these. 150 gold a pop. That's pretty massive. I don't think we're going to find any item that's worth 150 gold. We might as well just sell... Oh, it's a boss. Kezra. Spindleweb. Kind of a cool boss name, actually. This should be it. This is it. Will we finish? to get you're up there oh there is a chest let's go ahead and open it it's too tempting oh, I couldn't get it oh well you have exactly 10 seconds to explain yourselves before we run you through <laughs> you were saying Perhaps it is you who needs to be doing the explaining. What are you going to do to us? <laughs> I don't know what to make My of you. My character you changed his name, his mantle, tone pretty quick. Your bravery and willingness to help save the chosen. Had you not shown up when you did, we might have lost them after all. Lost them? You weren't trying to get them killed? What did you think? That we liberated the chosen from the murderous mantle only to feed them to the spiders? No, 
Nothing could be farther from the truth. Then what were you doing? Rescuing them from the mantle, that's what. The spiders were a miscalculation. I don't trust them, Avenia. Their mantle, plain and simple. I can see that, Marcus. But something tells me if they see for themselves what the White Mantle really do to the Chosen, they'll have a change of heart about their masters. What are you saying? That you mean to let them go? Yes, Marcus. That's exactly what I mean to do. Who knows? Once they've seen the Bloodstone, they may end up being valuable allies. This is a mistake, Gavinia. Maybe it is. If my hunch about you is correct, then you'll head to Bloodstone Fen. The truth about the White Mantle will reveal itself, and you will be faced with a difficult decision. Okay, so White Mantle are not what they seem. We kind of figured that. And the Shining Blade are kind of good guys. We're going to switch teams just like that. Oh, this was a tough mission. Thank you for watching. Um, did we lose some henchmen? Weird. Why did our team just suddenly get so small? Anyway, thank you guys for sticking around. Uh, that was a tough mission. Hopefully sometime we can go back and do some of those bonuses. Maybe that'll be a separate video series is the, the bonuses of the uh, missions. Might be worth it. But until then, we're just kind of happy to get through the missions with a group of weak henchmen. Anyway, this was the end of... I'm kind of losing count. I think this is episode 18. 18 or 19, something like that. If you're enjoying it, leave a, leave a like and subscribe and all that stuff. Uh, we'll see you next time, alright? Peace!